So let me ask you, it's not quite program synthesis, but um, the application of these language models to generation, to program synthesis, but generation of programs. So if you look at GitHub Open Pilot, which is based on OpenAI's codex, I don't know if you got a chance to look at it, but it's the system that's able to generate code once you uh, prompt it with, what is it? Like the header of a function with some comments. And it seems to do an incredibly good job or not a perfect job, which is very important, but an incredibly good job of generating functions. What do you make of that? Are you, is this exciting or is this just a uh, party trick, a demo? Or is this revolutionary? I haven't worked with it yet, so it's difficult for me to judge it, but uh, I would not be surprised if it turns out to be revolutionary. And that's because the majority of programming tasks that are being done in, uh, in the industry right now are not creative. Yeah. People are writing code that other people have written, or they're putting things together from code fragments that others have had. And a lot of the work that programmers do in practice is to figure out how to overcome the, the gaps in their current knowledge and, and the things that people have already yeah. done. By how to copy Stack and paste from Stack Overflow, that's yes. right. <laughs> and so, of course, we can automate that. Yeah to uh, make it much faster to copy and paste from Stack Overflow. Yes, but it's not just copying and pasting. It's also basically learning which parts you need to modify to make them fit together. Yeah, uh, like literally sometimes as simple as just changing the variable names so it fits into the rest of your code. Yes, base. but this requires that you understand the semantics of what you're doing to some degree. Yeah, and you can automate some of those things. Yes. The, the thing that makes people nervous, of course, is that... Um, a little bit wrong in a program can have a dramatic effect on the actual final operation of that program. So like yes. one little error, which in, in the space of language doesn't really matter, but in the space of programs can matter a lot. Yes, but this is already what is happening when humans program code. Yeah, this is... This so is... we have a technology to deal with this. 